Welcome back, day two of Berlin. Absolutely cracker place this side. Driving through the mouth today, you could have probably done it in reverse. It's always on day one. You, you want to go recce. You want to go see what colors are working, what's not working. Try as much as you can on day one. You know, I've got a target here and that's to catch a massive crop. So, uh, I believe I've got the right setup, right tackle, right, I don't know, uh, hopes and dreams, I would say. So we're pulling around for snook early. Once again, we'll probably till about seven o'clock. And then we're gonna go to the deeper ledges with a few big sinkers and yeah, the top of this. So what we're gonna do today, as much as I'd love to catch tuna, I need to catch a bonnie to catch the big crop. So I've got my little flies and I'm gonna pull this lure with a fly randomly. And hopefully I've got my body tracing here. Switch over, put in the lunar tube, send it out. And that is how I catch the body. Amazing the body sees that little thing, but he does. Put that 50 meters behind and sit and wait. Slow crawl it with your other lure. So I'll put it on the mode that I'm going now, which is blue mode. Eight k's an hour. And wait. I start seeing the birds, I'll put that out because the bodies are there. Tuna are sitting below them, so I've gone with a much heavier bucktail. I've gone with a two and three ounce, so I can throw it further and it can sink faster and get below the bodies and the tuna snap. Beautiful little Indian mirror. No? Yeah, is that an Indian mirror fish? What is that? No, it's not. I don't know what it is. Nice fish on here. Pandemonium, not bad. Hmm? Mm. Give me a run around. Look at it. Yeah. Yes. A little tuna that could, eh? Yeah, not bad. Not bad at all. There it is, you can see it. Oh, I must 
Let this thing box me. This thing box me. Yes, my word. My back. Oh. That's why I love these eight foot rods. Look at that tip. Look at that tip. A little tuna that could, my golly. And that is a bomber tuna in my leg. Oh, and there it is. There it is. Look at the steel truss. Tackle rod. Birds are busting. Color coming. Tuna gave me a hiding properly. This is light rods. One yellowfin tuna. Two yellowfin tuna. Hello, darling. Help if I hit it. Can you, what more can you ask for? What I've got outside here, I've got an eight ounce, the dead sardine, and I've got this side, I've got a pink flasher with a pulsator chin weight on the surface. So we're doing 4Ks an hour, it's 24 degree water here. There's so much reef structure, there's actually mountains everywhere in this ocean. And it's so calm that I can't even drift. You know, I want to get the bucktail done. I want to start casting that. But I just can't because the, it's just, there's no wind. This wind's really, really not going to uh, make the bait stand the 45 that you wanted to. It's been a wonderful day and a half so far. There's a crop cooter with my name on it somewhere in this ocean. I wish I could get it. Oh, look at that. Big fish. It's a big fish. Get it under control firstly. Get my other line out the way. Very far out. Oh that's that was our run. Get it under control. Switch off. And winch. That's what's nice about Berlin. This is what it's like all the time. You know it's not like where we come from, we either have the days or not. I'm gonna get this line, this line up the way. Now, if it's a cooter, you've got to undo your drag and have it very light. So I actually want to get get it in front so I can get these lines of mine up the way here because I can't reel it fast enough. So you want to loosen your drag because if it is going to spool and if he gets that, that next run, it's going to give you a hiding. And he Lucks of that. My gosh. Oh. Things are more good up. I like that one.
Ben That's what happens when you miss. So what they believe in Belen is go around the birds, which is true. The tuna or bait, bonnies, usually the bonnies on the surface. So if you want to, and you do see bonnies, throw a, a heavy spoon, a sinking stick bait, a bucktail, and go through the bonnies and then pull it, and the tuna sit underneath them. So you, you catch that little tuna, you catch that little body, have your rig ready, which I've got mine on my big rod. And you send the tuna as well, because the wahoo and the big cooter eat the tuna. So as much as I call it yellow line feed, okay, you see the birds, the poppers are out, banging, throwing. But you've got to make a decision, what is your plan? The plan is big fish. If you want to catch lots of fish, that's fine, catch lots of fish. But you need that plan. And I came out today that if I catch that right size something, even a cooter, the guys pin cooter and catch bigger cooter, it's frightening. The cooter will eat anything to be honest. If it swims, you'll eat it. Yes, that was a scream. That was a scream. Typical cooter. I think one massive run. Don't you wet your pants? Oh, I really thought that was bigger. But it's a bit. Not a good day, I think. Leave lines in the water. trace that I made has done the business. It really has done the business. In an absolute different level of type of fishing in Berlin. The amount of fish I've caught, the amount of fish I've probably lost. And most days it's like that. Eh? That's why you can hold a Highlander log, eat. Jason, 
and I'll show you the ways. This boy's fish out all the time. Hell of a nice people. It's got a bit of weight to it, this fish. It's definitely got a bit of weight. The runs that I've had today, I promise you, there's nothing I've seen. I've never seen runs like the other in my life before. Even my good friends, the tuna, haven't given me screaming runs like this. This is why I use this eight foot rod, you see? You just move it. See, this thing wants to come under the jet ski. You don't want it anywhere near there. Let me gaff him. <laughs> what is the team? Is a team effort, Al? What a cock up! Oh no! Ow! Look at this. This is prime TV, people. Bucktail friends. Is one gaff down? You want a gaff? Yes. We still got it. Do you want to get? Uh, it's still there. <laughs> I'm not moving. Do you want a gaff? Oh shit! Here we go. See if you can feed him to me. Yeah, come. Now I've got your line. <laughs> gaff on a double ski. With a double gaffer, Kevin is the gaffer. Yes! Yes, team effort! Yes, teamwork! Teamwork makes the dream work. Ali, I just want to tell you, this fish is mine. 